This is the LG 34 WK95U-W. It's a very memorable name for a very memorable monitor. Well, okay, the name's not great, but this is actually a really interesting display. Ultra wide, but even more interesting, super high resolution. This is 5120 by 2160, so that's pretty nuts. It also has a pretty nuts price tag of $1,500. So let's see if it's worth that price. So as mentioned, 34 inch display, 21 by nine aspect ratio. Nothing too crazy there. That's, uh, that's pretty typical for an ultra wide display these days. Now what's not so typical is that it doesn't have a curved display. And, and that's actually really unusual for an ultra wide. The reason why it doesn't have a curved display is that this particular monitor is going for more of a professional audience rather than uh, like a gaming audience or you know watching movies on the display so it's completely flat now the standout spec is again the resolution 5120 by 2160 that's an extremely high resolution for any monitor it's the highest resolution we have seen on an ultra wide the only thing that's going to get you a higher resolution than that is something like a uh, 5K conventional aspect ratio monitor, and, and that is only going to be slightly higher in resolution. Very pixel dense, super sharp image. You really aren't going to notice pixelation on display. You have to look really close, uncomfortably close at the display to start to notice any pixelation. What's really cool about this monitor is it, it doesn't just stop there in terms of the quality. It's actually just like a really, really good monitor all around. Decent contrast. The color accuracy came in a reading of 1.1, so that doesn't mean anything to you. Uh, lower is better, and anything that's under two is pretty good. Anything that's like near one is extremely good, almost perfect. So this is a very color accurate display. It has a really wide color gamut, and the gamma is spot on. So what that means is that if you're viewing something on this display, it doesn't look darker than it should, it doesn't look lighter than it should, it looks just the way that it should. So overall, it's one of the best image qualities we've seen on the monitor, whether it be uh, ultra wide or not. And that really makes sense considering, again, the audience. Like, as, as I said, this is meant for professionals. It's meant for people that really care about image quality. And if that sounds like you, I think you're really gonna like the way this monitor looks. Now, it's not to say everything is perfect on the display. There are a few downsides, mainly in refresh rate. It's a 60 hertz monitor, which is fine, like that's what most monitors are, but there's a lot of uh, high-end monitors these days that have a higher refresh rate, usually ones that are going for a gaming audience, and you're not gonna find this here. You're also not gonna find uh, adaptive sync here, so your video card's not gonna be able to talk to the monitor to get a smoother gameplay experience. Again, that really goes to the target audience of this monitor. It's not really meant for gamers, so if that's what you're looking for, uh, despite the image quality, you might wanna look elsewhere. Aside from image quality, it's also a really nicely built display. I like the way it looks a lot. You're not gonna see it from the front here, but from the back, it has a, a nice white chassis, which is very modern looking and a little bit different from the sort of dark black silver uh, monitors that you see from most of the competitors. Also, this display stand is really good. Uh, it looks really thin and elegant, so you might think it's a little too flimsy, but it does a good job of keeping the display uh, in place, not a lot of wobble. You know, you have to, to start bumping the desk pretty hard before that becomes a serious issue. And it also provides a decent range of adjustment. You can go up and down uh, and a little bit of tilt here. Uh, you don't get any swivel, uh, which is, I would have liked to have seen that. Um, and it's not gonna rotate, but most ultra wide monitors don't. Now also the connectivity is pretty interesting on this monitor. It's got uh, two HDMI, it's got DisplayPort, but what's really interesting is it has the USB Thunderbolt 3 connection, so that means you can do that one wire connection from a laptop or a desktop uh, to this uh, display, and that's gonna get you a really easy to use input. Also, the connections here are all rear facing and not downward facing. So that's sort of a, a small thing, but 
It basically means that it's a little bit easier to reach around and put a connection into the back of this monitor. It does have the slight downside though that if you wanted to like wall mount this, that's gonna become an issue. Otherwise though, I do actually think that this sort of rear facing connection is the better way to go. Now, in terms of controlling the monitor, you've got a joystick style control and that's found in the center here. So it's really easy to use. These can get a bit complicated sometimes, especially if they're not very responsive, which we have seen on some competitors. This one's very responsive, so it feels pretty nice to use and it's not too confusing. Also, there's a lot of adjustment options on this monitor, particularly as it relates to image quality. So you can adjust things like the color temperature, you can choose from a few gamma presets, there's color gamut and saturation and hue settings. So you can really customize and tweak the monitor to fit whatever image look you need for your work. So overall, this is a great monitor, great image quality, great connections, you know, good controls. The only catch is the price, $1,500, that's a lot of money. And this is a 34 inch display, which these days isn't actually that big. <laughs> Believe it or not, we recently reviewed some 49 inch uh, ultra wide monitors. And those were actually, one of those was less expensive than this one. And the other one was only about a hundred bucks more. So you're not getting like a big display for your money. And that's really the only issue here. We have long recommended Samsung CF791 as kind of like the leading ultra wide monitor. If you just want one that looks good overall and is good across the board, that's the one to get. And despite all its good qualities, the price means this LG is not gonna change our recommendation there. However, if you want the best image quality that you can get in an ultra wide, if you want the highest resolution to get an ultra wide, then this is the monitor to get because we have tested quite a few of them at this point. And in terms of image quality, this does beat them all. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, it'd be great if you hit that subscribe button and if you uh, give us a like if you liked what you saw here today. And as mentioned, we have done a ton of ultra wide monitor reviews. So if you're interested in stuff like this LG, go check them out on our channel.